Hi, my name is James Lin. This is my 2011 Scion TC. So my goal, my philosophy, is to build an innovative, clean, and well-executed car. Pretty much everything in this car has been customized to some sort, or a little bit more special than what you usually see from either, you know, what you see at the regular uh, shows during the season, or fellow competitors. First off, we're gonna start off with the obvious one-off custom wide body kit, painted in a custom Transtar Gold. It's about three and a half, uh, wide on each side, fiberglass. One off, carbon bike the hood. This is a custom DPE R16, 20 by eight and a half, negative 15 offset in the front, with two 25, 30, 20s. The suspension is by airlift. It's one of two main prototype for this competition. We got a custom Godspeed Turbo. This thing is on a straight bolt-on kit. Polished valve cover, polished TRD valve cover. Custom downpipe, it's a T360 three millimeter turbo. Custom intercooler, wore off valve, dipped in gold, relocated right there. Uh, Sparkle uh, fighter seats, Sparkle harnesses, pads, custom uh, brackets, and Sparkle rails. This is an audio system. The most obvious upgrade, uh, between all the competitors, they got a 32 inch LCD TV from Sony. What's also special is different from most people or other competitors, is I got a personal internet viewer that's touch screen. If you have Wi Fi or internet, it'll connect. You know, if this is called a Sony Dash, it's kind of like a iPad. Hi, I'm John Hanglinen, and this is my 2011 Scion TC GT. I believe that Scion as a brand has progressed. So as they progress, I want to do something more traditional, more of their heritage, which is racing. This time I was like, all right, I'm gonna step back, let me try something different, just do something that no one's done in the Tuner Challenge before. Exterior paint PPG, uh, Kelly and Sons out of Bellflower, they do amazing work in like the mini truck scene and the hot rod scene, and I wanted to use a paint shop that, and, and was able to apply and work within the time frame I had, which was literally four days for paint. The brakes, the brakes are one-offs. We, we actually had to fabricate a custom bracket. The kit on the older TC was a different bolt pattern. So we cut custom fabricated a bracket, custom painted calipers, and then instead of the 12.3 inch rotor, these are 14.6. If I open the trunk, I'll show you, because I, because again, I didn't want to, I want to keep the true to form, no audio, light as, keep the car as light as possible. Just, you know, clean carbon fiber, NOSes, fully functional, just clean it up a little bit, everything, you know. I went one seat because that's how I'd race it. Lightweight racing battery, descendant kit. Uh, we, we did dyno test it with eight PSI, which I know it was putting around 300, 320 to the wheel. Hi, my name is Sean Baker, and this is my 2011 Scion T6. So the engine bay here, um, the descendant turbo kit, um, one of the first couple that they, that they prototyped. Rather than just bolting the turbo kit on, uh, we wanted the, the fit and the finish and everything to be uh, spot on with the car. So, you know, we, we did the charge pipes in the, in the Nimbus Gray. The finish that, that, that uh, we did on the, on the valve cover is, is a, a translucent copper. Uh, the reason that we used this was to flow with what you'll see in a few minutes uh, with the leather inside the car. Sticking with the same theme throughout the whole car is uh, to, to keep a clean look and to get rid of any extra distractions uh, and just keep everything with, the, with the, the matte black and the Nimbus gray. We got the guys from Racing Solution to uh, hook us up with a lip kit, the RS2 lip kit, which is actually for first gen TC, race SJCs, 19 by eight and a half in the front, 19 by nine and a half in the rear. Falcon hooked us up with some tires. Uh, you know, not a super aggressive stretch, but basically exactly what we needed to clear the fenders for the air ride. Keeping with the theme of, of functionality and, and clean look, uh, we brought the leather back here into the trunk. The whole, the whole stereo is built on uh, a steel frame, a steel subframe. We have a cooling system so that when the, when the air compressor turns on, it's hot underneath there. We actually, it actually, we have an intake and an exhaust fan, so it vents the air out behind the bumper and it keeps that whole area underneath there cool. I guess the most obvious thing about the interior is, is uh, the leather. This is vegetable tan leather. Took the interior guy, 
basically a week per seat to pull that rawhide stitching together. Hand grenade, uh, hand grenade ship now is actually uh, uh, a Mark II, World War II real hand grenade that they got it out and then, and then we tapped it to actually fit you know, on the actual, the thread of the, the shipper.